Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to NWF Throwback. Here in the Shimmers Ballroom in Fort Wright, Kentucky. And this is the big gauntlet match, Sean. I'll tell you what, Kirk Shepard looks pretty confident out there because Brody Cormick has to go through Major League Chris Majors. And if he can somehow beat him, he's got to go through Muldoon. Now, come on. The odds are definitely stacked against him. But he, he wanted Kirk Shepard in the ring some way, somehow. What a great move by Cormick right there. Wow, and that's it. That's it already. I don't believe it. Ladies and gentlemen, Brody Cormick is your winner, and now he must face Mount Doom. Unbelievable. That's the way to do it. Get that first victory quickly and save that energy. Now Bertie Corman going taking the fight right to Muldoon. Looks like Muldoon was getting ready to go pounce on him. And Kirk Shepard not as confident as he once was. Oh, Bertie Corman is. But don't sell Muldoon. Oh! oh, I know. I, you know, I was going to say, he should turn his back on Muldoon, and it sure ended up paying off for Muldoon. Bertie Corman has got to concentrate on one guy at a time. I mean, this is such a... The odds are against him. Well, he just showed that it can be done. However, he's got to keep his mind on his opponent, Muldoon. He cannot think about Kurt Shepard. The things that Kurt Shepard has done to Brody Cormick over the past few months are almost unspeakable. And for Brody Cormick to even come back and be competing. But uh, the driving force for Brody Cormick probably gets him out of bed every morning is to try to get his hands, get some revenge on Kurt Shepard. And tonight, so close, but you know what? Probably so far. Maybe. And Muldoon just taking him down again. One, two. That was almost it. Muldoon does not seem to have any fear whatsoever. Kirk Shepard pacing quite a bit. You know, Muldoon just had a uh, an encounter with Team Money. Fairfield's UAW Hall for the NWF title. I mean, this guy's been wrestling for the biggest prize we have here. Yes, so, former NWF champion, and he's still one of the top contenders. Yeah, I mean, you know, he sure has all the confidence in the world. As tough a guy as Brody Cormick is, but that might have just snapped his neck. Yes, he came up from a long, long ways. Should I say he came down from a long ways up? And he, well, you know what, I wanted to ask you something, Sean. I mean, you just saw what happened in there. Muldoon's not going for a pin. He looks like he's just trying to punish him. Well, without a doubt. He's been told by Kirk Shepard to punish this man. Wow, well, okay, I mean, maybe he could have won the match there, I don't know. That could be a mistake, because if he takes Brody Cormick too lightly, we saw what happened early on with Chris Masters. Well, we're right you are, now watch this. Okay, Brody Cormick able to escape it. Ah, but Baldoon's just too powerful. And a veteran, as we said earlier. Cormick trying to get out of it by ramming him in the corner. It's a good strategy. But that power of Muldoon, not releasing. Oh, I spoke too soon. He was able to get out. Muldoon is right back on him again. Oh! Well, he did the right thing, but Brody Cormick quickly got out that time. Uh-oh. Uh Uh-oh. You know what? Right there, Brody Cormick had escaped, and then he gets his head taken off with that big clothesline. Muldoon is scary tonight. Oh, yeah. Muldoon, he can take you out so many different ways. You can't say, hi, I stopped you, because he's always coming right back with more. Once again, he is trying to I'll get Brody Cormick. submission. Yeah, he's trying to get Brody Cormick to tap out here, which would just make Kirk Shepard's night because he won't. Kirk Shepard probably hasn't even wrapped his brain around the fact that he's going to have to get in there with Brody Cormick because he doesn't believe it's going to happen. He thinks that Muldoon will take care of business, and you know what? Very possible. Oh, without question, it's got to be on the back of his mind. It's got to be. Oh, he's, yeah, I'm sure he's worried about it somewhat. I know what, I sure no, would Wait be. a minute, what happened? The referee has disqualified Muldoon, the winner, Brody Cormick, and now he will face Kirk Shepard. Well, this is what we talked about earlier. Muldoon not just out there to beat him, but to hurt him. Wow, this is like the unthinkable, as far as Kirk and Shepard Mul- goes, the unthinkable's happened, but Muldoon, in the meantime, is really putting a hurting on Brody Cormick, and I don't know, is Brody Cormick gonna be able to compete? I don't know. Will they be able to get Muldoon off of him? We've got every official in the Northern Wrestling Federation down there, and finally, finally they pry him off. Wow. What condition is Brody Cormick in at this point? Well, if you'll check out Kurt Shepard, he actually looks pretty confident. 
But look at that, they are sending Chris Majors and Muldoon, I believe, back to the dressing room. Well, that's what they should have done from the beginning. There's no reason to have all these people out there distracting everybody. Oh, but this. <laughs> well, Shepard's heading, heading into the ring, but you see Brody Cormick is in no, and I mean no, condition to compete right here. And clearly Kirk Shepard feels that way with that smile on his face. That smirk. Well, the match is officially underway. Ah, oh, he and, drops that oh, big elbow. Oh. Kind of just falling over on top of him. Ah, oh, another big elbow. Not even sure he's planning to plant that elbow, but dropping it on top. At this point, he really doesn't have to do anything. Right, Brody Cormick, I mean, he's done. And the smart thing to do would be to pin him now and get it over with. Don't give him any opportunity to recover. But no one ever accused Kirk Shepard of being too brilliant. He's in there fighting. On the his... second row. Now, this is unusual territory for him. He's got his glasses on. Oh! oh there you go. Because what Sean Bossman was alluding to before, you can't take chances like that. You've got to get the job done. And he risked it all. And wow, now maybe Brody Cormick can get something on Kirk Shepard. Let's see what happens. Let's see. He's trying. He's trying to pull it all together, whatever he's got left. I don't know the significance of the damage Muldoon caused, but he's still got fight in him. Big right hand by Cormick, another one. And Kirk Shepard doesn't know where he's at. Irish whip. Whoa. Managed to hold on to the ropes. Wow, he knows where he's at now. He's on the outside of the ropes. Well, he knew what he was about to get. Yes, sir. Oh, and he oh. Brody brought him right back in. The hard way. Yes, sir. What's Kirk Shepard doing? Uh-oh. Oh, now come these two on. were banned from the ring. Come on. From behind, here comes Majors and Muldoon. Muldoon's and got look. that baseball bat, and he just cracked it into the face of Brody Cormick. And Shepard keeping the referee, oh, come on. This is disgusting. I don't believe this. I don't believe it. That's it. Ladies and gentlemen, we of the comment match. And we're never gonna hear the end of this. I mean, he's still got his glasses on. Are you kidding me? Brody Cormick went through all that to get his hands on Kirk Shepard, but then was in no condition to do anything about it. And they still required outside interference to get that so-called victory. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Kirk Shepard managed to pull a fast one, getting the victory. Oh, and no doubt he is going to be more egotistical, more stubborn, and more of a you-know-what than ever before. We'll be back, ladies and gentlemen.